There's more people feeding the birds outside, which is nice. And the other side, oh, look at the cygnets. Look at the swans, they're all going. They're all going, wow, look at them. <laughs> they almost look like swimming dinosaurs or clockwork toys. They look like steamboats. Oh my god. Look at the way they're moving. Oh, look how cute. They just dive shot in the water. So cute. And, wow, look at them go. It's so nice seeing them. And we've also got a few pigeons. There was also a squirrel feeding, but it's not there anymore. I think the squirrel has just totally gone nuts. He's off now. Oh, a bit more bird feeding activity. It's soon as a big seagull trying to and the small one's trying to scatter away. Oh, there's some magpies. That's nice. Whoa, that pigeon's decided to attack the magpie. He's trying to bugger him off, trying to protect his bait. Whoa. This one seems bigger than these guys with the brown heads. Uh oh, someone's dog has decided to try and join in. Whoa! Whoa! Coming in for a bit of a dive. Pigeons are straightforward being spooked by the dogs. Lots and lots of food. The cygnets, wow, look how beautiful, look how majestic these guys are. And, oh my god, seagulls are trying to steal a bit of bread from that duck. Oh, there's a bit of fighting going on here. Not as much as I thought. Uh, obviously I can't see the squirrel again, but uh, I've already seen so many squirrels. Probably as much as rats. Lots and lots of, um, lots of birds, lots of pigeons. Who knows, there you go, the magpie has got another bit of bread. Whoa, that was a bit of a heavy-headed attack from that big one. There's actually two of them. There's actually two of the big seagulls. That was so nice. And there's one... Whoa, look at them, he's trying to steal. A bit of a feeding frenzy chase. All chasing after him. Oh, that seagulls... I think those signets are too big. They're a bit too big for that swan to get a bit of a hissy fit. And there's another close-up of a pigeon. How cute is that? He's <laughs> going. He's having a go. Just one big mouthful. That's a lot. Oh my God! Look how mouthful. Look how massive. Gluttonous that pigeon. He's taking a bit of a mouthful. I can tell. What, he's a glutton for punishment. And there's the magpie. All birds behaving badly, but they're not perfect. They're meant to be this way. Off he goes, into the woods, and that pigeon is going for a nice waddle. I wonder what they're going to be doing next. Lots of food for birds and mammals to come around. Not for the dogs. <laughs> i got a funny feeling the dogs won't have a go eating bread because of their owners told to do so. But they're happy, especially those birds. Whoa! That pigeon doesn't seem very happy by the looks of it. And they've also got those magpies. That's why they've... There you go, they're all going away now. They're all chasing after them. There's a lot of seagulls around here. It seems like they're straightforward. To be honest, they're coming out of their breeding colonies. Not at the least, but they look like they are. Look at them, that's so much. And there's a squirrel! There he is! There's the squirrel, here he is. Here he is. Oh my god. Reminds me of that squirrel from, um, I don't know, is it Pikachu or is it Rocky and Bullwinkle? That's probably, I think, that's how I grew up from that TV show. And uh, the squirrels came back. Nice seeing the children feeding the birds, and then you've got a pigeon. Just gluttoning all its way, and there's a squirrel right over here, there he is. And there we go, look at him, he's just sniffing like a big rat. My god, he's got his bushy tail here. 
quite cute seeing that. And there's the little signets. They're not little, they're actually quite big. It's quite as plump as like a medium sized goose, like a Canadian goose. That seagull's got a big wingspan. And this one's like a little midget. How cute is that? And into the woods, look at all the birds coming out here. That squirrel is, is sniffing on the ground. Oh no, it's been attacked. Well, it's actually been attacked in sight by dogs. You don't know, that's straightforward, kind of obvious. I might as well just have to um, leave it as it is. And that wood pigeon is straightforward, the only one intact. Just so nice seeing those massive signets and also the swans. It's so nice seeing a family. And there's a bit more feeding activity around here. So nice just to see a bit more feeding around here. So nice and fantastic. There's a bit of rain shower activity. Hopefully it's not going to be that long because it's all rain showers and stuff. Oh man, this feels like a proper jungle. Look at the whole scene. It actually feels like I'm in the middle of Malaysia. How awesome is that? I feel like I'm in that one place I went to in Malaysia. I need to throw up a title. Oh, which really sums up that name here. I forgot its name. I think it's uh, Bukit Jalutong Eco Park. I think that's how I really remember that place. I try to throw it up as a title. It's quite evocative. And also the rain, it's, it's so beautiful. It's just so amazing coming around here, right? It's so nice. So nice to see them. Well, it looks like the, um, the dogs have chased off the birds and the squirrels. And there's the wood in here. Can I get close into this little bub here, right? No. I think it's going to be totally spooked. Then if I can make a popping sound and they can just get freaked out. Magpie just flying. It looks like it's dive bombing here. There you go, spooked by my popping sounds. And he's still there. Doesn't matter. Okay, here's the aftermath. It looks like the magpies have been replaced by jackdaws. And there's a little squirrel. And he comes, little buddy. Tufty the squirrel. How cute is that for a name? You look, you seem quite friendly. Come on, little bub. Oh, look how cute this is. And we've also got a few birds, a lot of jackdaws and pigeons. That squirrel is the eye catcher. Come here. <laughs> oh no, he's off. Come here. Oh, where, are you? where are you? I don't think where are you off to. Yep, he's gone. Completely gone. And I have to say, it was a complete brief rain shower. I have to try and take advantage from such um, devious weather outside. Such a very um, skeptical feeling when you have weather like that. And there's the nice, beautiful waterfall. Look at that. It's like something from a tropical island. How awesome is that, eh? Walking around through this waterfall, cascading down towards the River Blythe or any other river. I forgot its name. It's quite a nice park, but hey, pretty wet outside. Well, as I'm just trekking my way down, it's actually quite wet outside. I have to turn off the camera and I have to move on by the time being. <laughs> so yeah, at the airport. Okay, here we are at the airport. We've got an Airbus A380 here. Second time lucky to see this behemoth. And we've got a 737, uh, I think it's Boeing, I think it's just a small jet airliner. So majestic that thing, you can't resist it, it's so amazing. It's like you just can't keep your eyes off. It's just so amazing to see the Airbus A380 for the second time, it's so amazing. Doesn't Emirates actually really provide their flight services like twice or thrice a day or a week? It's just so glorious just to see that. It's beautiful and there's the gravel pits here with a seagull in the background. And um, after all that wet weather, there's the gravel pits. And um, I can't see any little winged plovers, but look at the fertility of the land. It's like a desert that has just transformed into the world of fertility. It's just so amazing it can just significantly transform beautiful and the wind is attacking me hopefully it's not going to be as severe as it is as it was before 
But yeah, thank goodness we got the Airbus A380 from Emirates. I nearly said Airbus A350. Yes, the Airbus A350. And we've got a plane landing. Oh, I think it's a private jet. Oh, it comes. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, because um, that was so nice somehow to see that private jet landing, and then the Airbus A380 is about to taxi on its way. That's why it was pretty much still on hold with the 737 right behind it. Just nice to see just a massive behemoth of an aircraft, like so. It's probably on its maiden voyage to Dubai. How awesome is that? Maiden voyage to Dubai. It's quite fantastic. I haven't really quite worked out, but this aircraft, I believe, may have a new livery. Because I'm pretty sure, I think a couple of years ago, this aircraft had a new livery. It had an old livery on it. I think the sort of change is probably the big Emirates logo and the flag a little bit. Whoa, did you see that? That was lightning. Oh my crockies, I think I just saw lightning right in the background here. Oh my god, I think I captured that on camera! Bloody hell, I think I just saw lighting outside. That looked like flipping Malaysia! I feel like I'm in flipping Malaysia! And there's the uh, Airbus A380 going to do a bit of a taxi. Hopefully the storms aren't going to bombard this flight without causing confusion and delay. That was so awesome, just seeing lightning outside. That was superb, that was amazing! Proud to do so in my area. So nice. And wow, I couldn't believe it. And then you've got the 737 plane. About to leave as well too. And um, how cool is that? I don't know how crazy is this man. The AFS A380 is about to do a bit of a takeoff. Whoa. And then we've also got a 737. Can't see any planes landing in general. How awesome is that? And we've got a 737 about to taxi and stuff. Oh my goodness. And there's a bit of smoke coming out from the back of the aircraft. How awesome is that? It could be a great venue to play around with remote control helicopters. Or remote control airplanes. I've seen them on YouTube. And there you go. There's a 737 of unknown airliner. Whatever it's called. I think that Airbus A380 is about to do a turnaround -y thing. Hopefully it's going to do a bit of a turn around the Rooney without just getting caught up by the lightning and stuff. Hopefully it's not going to get struck by lightning. And um, that should be fairly fantastic. You can see the storm clouds, the cumulonimbus clouds stuck at the background, right? Such an awesome sight to see. Hopefully that storm shall dissipate. And then the 737 is coming in right from the behind. <laughs> How humorous am I? Uh, look at those wingtips, that's amazing. Mind you, I think that lightning I just saw was a cloud to ground lightning. That was just amazing. Thank God I captured that on camera. I never noticed that there was lightning on that cloud. My crikeys, I feel like I'm in bloody Malaysia. You know, Malaysia and Indonesia. Singapore and all. Your favourite tropical places also has thunderstorms. But not so much here in the UK. Because we don't have that much humidity. That's all I can really describe somehow. Maybe the day is not as humid. Maybe I probably guess it's pretty humid than what I'd probably describe. In fact, it feels more like Malaysia. I mean, look at the vegetation outside. How awesome is that? And uh, we're going straight towards here, zooming in. That was fantastic. Any lightning bombs and all. <laughs> Got a private jet taxiing. Lovely sound of the A380 just flying away. I mean, look how powerful, so loud the the engines are. It's so beautiful to hear that. And hopefully that 737 is about to do a bit of a takeoff for Rooney just after that private jet has decided to leave the building. 
And uh, there's been quite a lot of delays of aircraft so far because, you know, there's been a lot of bad queues so far th for the summer holidays. And pretty nice stuff. Now it looks like that the 737 is taking off. And apparently I'm eating bananas without monkeying around. <laughs> How cool is that? See that? That was just a banana peel. And to boot to you, I got bananas. <laughs> Feels like I'm in the middle of the jungle. How cool is that, eh? Woo! Without monkeying around with my bananas and stuff, there it is there. Uh, the 737 is straightforward take off. No more flights uh, at the moment because I think the storms have decided to take over. Look at the amount of rain has decided to take over. I might have to probably flee away because of, there could be a risk of lightning. That's my gut feeling behind this storm. I might have to probably stand back and get away from the site because it might probably kill me. Oh my god, look how scary these clouds are. I might have to probably stand back of such. And yeah, I think I've just stepped in too much mud. We've got another plane here. It's a Jet 2 Boeing 737. And I think I've just stepped into too much mud because of the storm clouds. I got a funny feeling about that. And it's pretty slippery somehow. I don't know how we're going to get rid of all that mud and stuff. If it gets too wet, we might probably head into some sort of restaurant. Maybe I need to eat some Middle Eastern food. Just to get some Dubai vibes. How cool is that? Uh, not many people around here. And we've got another plane landing. Well, you thought the party's over because of the storm. Uh, here it comes. Um, that there, I think. Let me just stand back without moving too much. I think it's Jet 2 or Ryanair. Yeah! Jet 2 again! There you go. I think it's one Jet 2 aircraft and then another. How awesome is that? Maybe it's more, even more louder than an explosive thunderclap. How cool is that? crazy weather outside. It's completely and utterly uh, blustery with all that wet weather and stuff. And how, I wonder how the hell are they going to be managing their services just to battle the bunt against this bloody tropical storm. Now it's not really a tropical cyclone because I hope it's not one of those storms that could probably blow up to about 70 miles per hour winds. Maybe I might be totally wrong but as an autistic guy like me I'm just trying to you know, disparage of just how volatile the weather is. And we've got the Boeing 737. Uh, it's just straightforward waiting at the moment here somehow. I wonder if the flights are going to be cancelled and delayed because of those storms. That's my gut feeling behind them. Um, oh, I don't know what to really say, hey? Yeah, I don't know how we're going to get rid of all that mud and stuff by the looks of it. And if it does start raining heavily, maybe I need a, quarter, a day or such. It's just terribly, ridiculously wet. And I can see a bird, which I probably believe is some sort of different bird. I have no idea. I don't think there's any little ring plovers that are in this gravel pit at the moment. But it's just way beyond wet. Okay, so maybe the rain has just pretty much pelted so much. And there's another plane here. I think it's a, uh, a Thule uh, Boeing or was an Airbus plane. I haven't really worked out what plane is it yet. It's so nice that we're getting lots and lots of airplanes, especially in such blustery conditions. And my camera's gone a bit funny, a bit, a bit blurry and stuff. Uh, don't know what's causing it. Maybe it's the wet weather trying to attack it. I might use my finger by just doing a jump cut, like so. Okay, I think the quality is going to be completely and utterly muffled up by the winds. I can feel the winds, they're starting to hustle around. And there's another plane landing! And again, it's one of those private jet planes coming to land. And the camera's gone a bit funny again. 
Now one thing if, if you have never noticed about those clouds, there's a lot of rain. There's actually like millimeters of rain, even not like meters of rain, uh, just falling right over in the background. Now whenever I see scenes like that, there could be a possible lightning storm outside in the cards because that can be very dangerous. Whenever you look at sites like that, to be honest though, somehow. And to be quite obviously honest, it's a different feeling. I have to put my hood on. It's beyond way too wet to continue filming. And I think it's a 737, a TUI Boeing 737. I think there's been lots and lots of flight cancellations, cancellations, whatever it's called. And uh, I think the rain is pelting down really nastily. But hey, that's what life in the UK is like, just like Malaysia has. A lot of rain. So much rain and so much wind, it's even more worse than what I have filmed before. Apart from the talking, isn't it? And the rain is straightforward attacking my camera, my tablet of course, I hate it to be conducted and such. And um, oh my god, maybe I can just do a Dutch tilt like that. Wouldn't that be possible? Maybe not. And Oh dear. Um, I can hear the jet engines. And oh no, I think that rain is attacking my tablet. That's not a very good sight here, right? That's not very good. And the rain is pouting down real hard. Having troubles to film in such weather like this? I hate it to get conducted by electricity. And um, that's the only thing I have to be very concerned about. Is weather events like this. Strange enough, this is not the first time I've filmed uh, in a wet weather event like this. Oh, I've got another plane. What's it going to be like this time? It's just too wet to film. Absolutely wet to film. 